Peter, um, it is uh, 12.30 Central Time on Wednesday the 3rd, uh, and I'm here with Sean Thornton, who's done the inspection. And we're inside the house, and so I was just going to use my video uh, to record some audio for us. He was going to kind of uh, touch on the majors. So, um, and, uh, so I'm gonna, he's kind of already started, but I'm going to get him to start over for us and uh, go from there. So um, won't be much to really see in the video, but just wanted to at least uh, let you uh, hear it. So, okay. All right, I guess the, the two main issues, uh, uh, the number one item is going to be the foundation. Um, you know, you have a, a brick foundation wall, um, which on the, I guess that's going to be the west side. Uh, yeah. Um, a lot of the bricks have fallen away. Um, you know, you've got some, some cracks and some deterioration in the mortar, but... Um, you know, my main concern is that uh, in one section of that wall, there's only, um, you know, a single um, layer of bricks left. Right. Um, and, it, you know, it needs to be, uh, you know, it needs to be cross-tied, tied in with uh, another layer of bricks, which is falling away. Okay, right. Uh, so it would have been two layers side by side upon which the outer main seal would have been laid on, and it's only sitting on one instead of two. Yeah, and it should be tied, you know, the mm -hmm. layers tied together. Right. Um, and there's, uh, you know, the same issue in a lot of other areas um, with the supports and with the foundation wall. Uh, and there was one uh, one section of uh, poured concrete. Um, um, it looked like uh, maybe a later addition. Mm -hmm. um, Where is that? Uh, it is going to be um, you know close to the uh, the side entrance here okay. on the east side, mm -hmm. um, where the uh, uh, the concrete slab is actually uh, breaking away, and you can see the reinforcement. Okay. Uh, and some of the sports have issues in that area. Well. Okay. So really it sounds like, Peter, it looks like west wall, or maybe north wall. Um, anyways, if you're looking at the house, the, ha the wall <coughs> on the right side, um, just needs to have, the, really needs to be inspected by foundation, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, as well as, you know, I'll, I'll point out some other areas. Mm -hmm. um, um, you know, in, in the front here, there was also, it looked like it did, uh, some of the, the dirt has, has been dug out away from the wall there you know I'll, I'll point that out okay. um, uh, and just the typical you know got uh, um, a waistline that's leaking um, uh, in the rear of the house back bathroom uh, probably yeah. or the washroom yeah uh, and the laundry room yeah, okay two different places so two leaks uh, you know some rotten wood in that area mm -hmm. uh, and one of the um, uh, one of the beams uh, supporting beams right there on that same waistline um, was actually um, cut and notched, um, and it's not supported underneath. Okay. So, um, and then the other item, the other main item, is going to be um, the roof uh, around the chimney. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go into the attic, um, you know you've got some old uh, rotten wood and some old, uh, you know, wood destroying insect damage. Okay. Um, right there, all along, you know, all along uh, the eave, right there around the roof. Okay. I mean, around the uh, chimney. Okay. Uh, uh, granted, you're, uh, uh, Sean is not a um, a licensed termite guy, but under your evaluation, does it look like active infestation or old uh, damage? It looks like old damage. Okay, so um, some and, old damage. And one of the um, uh, one of the, the uh, roof joists has split. Okay. And then, besides that, um, everything else is just what you're typically going to find. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you got some open ground. Some of the receptacles are grounded, some of them are. Oh, some of them are. Okay. Yeah. Um, we've got, uh, you know, a, a leak in uh, um, one, of, one of the upstairs sink has a leak in the drain line. Um, uh, we got some, you know, some damaged areas in the wall and ceiling. Mm -hmm. uh, just from was, settlement? Yeah. That's what it. That's what some of it seems to be. Some okay. of it's pretty typical. So okay. um, now there is uh, there is one um, um, wet area in the kitchen um, at the switch. Uh, it looks like it, it. You know, it may be related to a roof leak or some other leak. I couldn't track it down, but okay. you can see the damage under the switch, and it's uh, the moisture level is really high. Okay, and that was in the dining room. That's going to be in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Okay. Uh, I can show you where it is. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, it's, it's right here. Okay. Uh, this area right here has got like 50% moisture. So, uh, Peter, if you can see, that's right next to the kitchen sink. Looks like here. He's just saying his moisture reader is reading pretty high right there. Um, and then just just minor things that I'll point out is, uh, you know, there's some uh, exposed wiring or, or open splice at the uh, uh, garbage disposal. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, no high loop on the garbage disposal uh, line. Okay. Um, Those are gonna. That's pretty much gonna be it. And I'll point out some safety things, like on the stairs. Um, you've got that open side there. Mm -hmm. If you had kids, that's you know that's a safety mm -hmm. issue. You should have a rail there. Right. Um, what about the rise and run on that staircase? Um, I can measure it and see. I didn't. I didn't notice. I didn't see a problem with it. Okay. I just. I have noticed, and I noted this to Peter, that the rise and run. It feels like you've got to really pick up your knee yeah, pretty high. Yeah. If you would, um, this is something that we want to point out to the sellers that is that this is an issue, and I, I mean, as you and I both know, to repair something like this is, I mean, to change this is expensive. But um, if you could just point out the rise and run, and if you would disclose whether that does or does not fall within code limits. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, uh, and it does look like the you know the rise is is going to be a little bit a little bit high uh, mm -hmm. compared to what the Okay. Um, and there is some cracking. Um, you know, you've got uh, at this section right here, you know, you've got some crack, cracking at the top and bottom. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I, I think that may be a finish issue. Okay. Yeah. It looks kind of sheet rock muddish. Yeah. Okay. Um, any, um, when you were up, up, up top, did you notice any roof leaks? Uh, Other than what we found, maybe over there in the kitchen, I did. It'd be a wall wing. Um, you know, I, I checked the, uh, uh, the area where the, the there was some rotten wood um, there at the chimney. Mm -hmm. um, the moisture was a little bit higher than the surrounding, but it, yeah, it wasn't active. I mean, I couldn't see moisture there. Okay. Um, it didn't look like it was active. Um, now the the uh, the roof surface, um, some of it looked pretty good, and and um, uh, I think it was the. Um, one of the shaded slopes um, has, you know, deteriorated a little bit faster than the rest of it. So, um, you know, you, you know, you may have uh, five years or so left on the roof. Okay. Uh, I didn't see a lot of hail damage. No, so. it's actually been looked at by a licensed roofing contractor, and okay. he says no hail damage here. Yeah. Yeah. There's some just old wear and tear. Yeah. But. yeah. Um, <clears throat> no, there was a, an outlet in the hall bathroom with uh, reverse polarity on it. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, some of the uh, receptacles in the kitchen and bathrooms don't have GFCI. Protection. Okay. Pretty typical. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, I think that pretty much covers... Oh, the, uh, in the electrical panel, uh, in the distribution panel in here, you had some open knockouts at the top. Um, and then you had uh, one one connection um, at one of the breakers, um, which indicated a little bit of uh, heat damage on one connection. You know, it was uh, discolored and, and stood out from the rest of them. Okay. So uh, I would just get an electrician to look at that one. Okay. Okay. Um, so sounds like to me, really, foundation over here in, in the side of the house needs to get looked at. Roof uh, water leaks. You know, supply line and upstairs leaking bathroom sink, a um, couple of open grounds, roof leak in the kitchen. I mean, the wall leak in the kitchen. Uh, and we we do have some spots of rotten wood around the exterior. Yeah, and I'll I'll point, point those, those out. out. Okay. So it was in you know in multiple areas. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And that's, Great. Uh, that's pretty much it. Okay. Good. Well, Peter, um, I'll shoot some more video of the uh, of the outside and uh, the the inside uh, for you as well. But um, I'll get this uploaded and uh, talk to you soon.